Now, how bad did he have to go? She have to go. Did they have to go to the bathroom? How bad? Did they look really that masculine? Well, this father thought so. And he brought up, I don't know if he was saying his daughter was in there or it's a possibility that his daughter could have been in there. And you look like a man. You are a man. Not only you look like a man, you are a man. He said, you're not going through no type of changes to transition into a woman. So why are you using the bathroom? I'm going to tell you straight up though. Sometimes situations should be avoided. Because they can lead to confrontations. But when you get caught up, the next thing you know, this conversation just takes off. Because this conversation could have went one way. It could have got physical. It just could have been an unhealthy situation. But regardless, I, I, the person had to use the bathroom, so they went. They went. But let's just look. You are a man. You're a man. My daughter goes into those bathrooms and no man needs to be in there. You understand me? You are a man. You are created as a man. You are a man. Start acting like a man. Act like a man. Obviously when he said act like a man, do something. He one plan. That that rage, possible rage came on out, see? Ready. Yeah, 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 You're a man. Oh, like one. What, what, what happened? Why? Why are you acting this way? You be an I'm a man. So are you. No, I'm not. Then what are you? I was born. Did you know what that is? I was born with both. Hey, Sir. You're going to have a problem if you keep going in the women's bathroom. Somebody's going to do something to you. I'm just telling you the truth. I mean, it's years. You want to do something? But that's not Yeah. Now, he said how he was born. It's so many terms out here that a lot of times education is required to know and to be able to respect what people's choice decisions are. I am not a doctor. I'm not involved in any type of... Uh, the, the, the physical, excuse me, psychological education. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I think it is important that light is shed up on certain situations, but I don't know. I just think everybody has to kind of be safe and kind of plan accordingly on what to do and how to go about it. But how can you really plan for this when you're not really expecting this and you see this person who is looking, because if I was in a bathroom, I'm still wondering, how would I have reacted? Because, you know, I refer to the bathroom when I have to go, I gotta go, I gotta go right now, right then, as my sanctuary to Wusa. But to see somebody in there that looks like, I don't know. Now, the man is professing, the father is professing his Christianity. He's talking about the world being dumb. Yup, you'll see me out on the street. I'll be out there preaching the truth. Come up to me when I'm preaching. Yeah, it's the, the truth, the gospel. Seriously, take what you where he wants to be. Yup, he created them male and female, just like the Bible says. Okay? So what? You look like a man. You look like a man. You look like a man. You're going to go into sex. Yeah, I know. I've already heard about it. I've already heard about it. I don't need to educate myself. You look like a man. You, you should be walking into a men's bathroom. Period. Period. You should be walking into a man's bathroom, not a woman's bathroom. No. You got a man chest. You got man legs. You got a man face. You got man arms. You got man everything. So what? You don't belong in the women's bathroom. Yeah, because the world allows it. Men ain't standing up, that's why. Yeah, the world is dumb and they're falling into the sins of the world. They're being given up. Like you. No, you you have all the right to be here. Yeah, I do have a problem. But guess what? God will take care of you in the end. Well, the world needs to be educated. I don't know the feeling of being born one way and then feeling like you may be something else. I don't know what goes on psychologically. But again, 
People are entitled to feel how they feel. So if this man is professing to be a Christian and to feel the way he feels, that's his business. Now, to attack someone, I'm not saying he attacked him. I'm not saying the other person attacked him, but... <sighs> okay, I have associates who have gone through the change, been in the process of going through the change, taking hormonal replacements as such. There are things I have noticed that have started a change of some sort, but you have this person, you see the legs, you, you see the hand, it's very masculine and like, oh, they got on glasses, okay? You never know where someone's eyes is going when they have on glasses. What are, what are they hiding underneath there? You, you you don't know. So they're going into the bathroom with their glasses on. Now, I don't know where they may have been on their way or coming from, or if maybe they just had their eyes dilated. I don't know as to why they had on the shades, but sometimes when you have on shades, some people think you're hiding something and you look a little suspect. We say not to judge on the outside, but that's the first thing that we do see. I think sometimes it is human nature to judge from the outside on what is being seen, but no disrespect to what people got going on. But sometimes I think sometimes people force things on people and it makes people sometimes react. I think it's okay to have a conversation depending on how you go about it. You want to be safe. But you don't want to choose any and everybody to have some form of a conversation. I don't know what this dad may have just been going through at the moment as to why, you know, he did question the situation. I don't know what the other person may have been going through or felt like it was okay for him to, her, however they want to identify, no disrespect, to have gone into the women's bathroom or had that person gone into the men's restroom, would that have created a problem too? So what is the right answer? What is the wrong answer? How can this situation, because it's here, the situation been here, is it safer to just go into a stall that is that is just like one stall in there and you lock yourself in there? Well, you have to choose the right outlet of a restroom to do that now if you're at a restaurant fast food joint i haven't well yes i have oh yes i have the, the unisex ones like where you have to pay yeah but this may have just been one where you choose to go to men's women's male female so that person has to make a decision look when i go to the restroom i just want to go to the bathroom I just want to go to the right now. Have I ever snuck in? Not, not even snuck in. Look, I have gone into, look, I have, go, look, if I got to go, I got, I'm going to the bathroom. That's all I got to say. 